Hey y'all, Natalie here, and today I am participating in the All About the Mouse YouTube Hop. It's a fun group of YouTubers who have decided to make Disney layouts, and each month we'll have a different theme, and this month the theme is Star Wars. But if you don't have any Star Wars photos, then you could also just use a star or stars. So that's what I did because we haven't really been to the new Star Wars stuff very much. Um, when we went for longer periods, my kids were kind of too little for that stuff and we're not super into Star Wars. And then now that they're old enough to have liked it, we um, didn't make it out to MGM. So the last time that we went so anyway I'm going to use stars and I have to say I absolutely adore how this layout turned out so what I'm doing is I have this one photo of us in front of the castle at Christmas and I'm going to cut three other rectangles of paper um, that match the si same size of the photo so this paper has hearts and stars. I cut a silver glitter rectangle and I cut two pieces of vellum and I'm gonna make um, a sequin pocket. So there is that white piece. And so I have that, that black ground paper is just like a, a sky blue cardstock. And then I backed it with black and I cut the middle of the black out so I could die cut all those stars you see over there on the right. And then I picked a font on my Cricut and I did the star word. I welded it together and made it really long. And the, um, the title's gonna be When You Wish Upon a Star because obviously they play that song when you're watching the fireworks and everything. And I have this um, sequin pack from Spiegel Mom Scraps and it's got silver stars in it so it works perfectly with that silver glitter there. So I'm gonna fill up that little vellum pocket that I sewed and then I'm gonna sew the top closed. Um, this page honestly is it came together really fast. It's pretty simple, but I absolutely love the way that it looks so um, I probably will scrap lift myself on this for sure So there you have it a little shaker pocket And um, I'm doing my voiceover before we finalize the hop list So I'm gonna just put it down below in the comments But make sure you hop along to all the hops and get all the Disney inspo so um, I have I added the splatter yet? I don't think I added the splatter yet, but I did um, rough up the edges of the papers and I'm inking them up with black and then I'm gonna go in and add super tiny black splatter. I also backed my photo in some white cardstock to make it pop off the page. And I sewed around the edges of the blue cardstock with black thread and just kind of lifted up the edges a bit for some more texture. And here comes the splatter. So I'm using a really tiny paintbrush and spraying my spray onto the mat and so that my splatters will be super simple and tiny because I don't really want big drops this time because um, I feel like the page is kind of delicate and so I don't want to take away from that. I really love the way this page turned out. I feel like it's not a really typical color, like Disney color page. And so I like to, um, I like that about it. And I'm, I don't want the silver sequins to be next to the silver glitter paper is the reason that I um, displayed these rectangles like that. And now I'm using my T-square ruler just to make sure that I stick everything down um, on a straight line because that's also going to dictate how I put my um, title on. So I used red tape and I just put it on the seams of that pocket and you can't tell at all. You don't, you can't see it through the vellum or anything. So that's cool. Um, so now I, I figure out where the word star goes and then I'm going to nestle in these other, um, they're like gray sparkle. They're really gorgeous, um, thickers. And so I'm going to nestle the rest of the title in so it fits right perfectly above the word star. And then I'm just going to finish up by using all those die cut stars. I did three different sizes of stars um, on my manual die cut machine out of the black cardstock that the background paper is attached to. And I end up only using two because I have one that's larger and when I put it on, it kind of did the same as I was afraid larger splatters would do and it kind of just took away from the delicacy of the 
page and so I kept it with just the two smaller. Actually, I lied. I did three diff uh, four different sizes. I have one itty bitty bitty teeny black star. It's actually the middle of like a, a geo mark or whatever. So um, I use that as well. It's almost like using a little tiny sequin or something. That, so but that's there that you see. I just sprinkle them around the page a few at a time. And I don't have a lot of journaling because it's a week-long Disney trip and we all know what was going on. <laughs> so uh, I think that's about it. Like I said, I'm going to link the hop down below um, with everybody's link in the order of the hop. So please make sure to check out those ladies and give them some love. I'd love it if you would like and subscribe to my channel. And I thank you for watching. Bye, y'all.